People say to me, how do you become successful? And although I recognize that they ought not to be asking that question of me, there are some observations that I would like to share with you. The thing that we have suffered from, as long as any of us can remember, is a, a gross storm of negativity about who we are. And the sad part of about it is, is that it's been told to us since we were little children. From the time that we could think or understand, people were telling us that we aren't as beautiful as Mary Jones. We aren't as tough as Billy Smith, we don't, we, we don't measure up. We are graded when we go to school. And if we don't have good grades, we are not worthy. If we don't make the track team or the football team or the basketball team, somehow we are not worthy. We are somehow viewed and sorted like cattle at the killing shoots. And by the time that we become trial lawyers, or try to become trial lawyers, we have lost all semblance of belief in ourselves. Now I want to tell you something. I have spent my life almost 60 years trying lawsuits. And I will guarantee you something right now. There isn't one of those fancy, big, firm lawyers with their pinstripe suit and their cute little shoes with the tassels on them, and their silk stockings, and their good haircuts. <laughs> Who can beat me? None. <laughs> None of them. But I will tell you something for sure, and I want you to believe this. There is not one of you, not one of you in this room who cannot beat me. Not one of you. Man, woman, old, young, who can't beat me if you can be more of who you are, more yourself. than I. This young woman can come into the courtroom frightened, un, uh, un, inexperienced. She can walk up to the podium shaking and not know what words she's going to say, and she can look at that fiendish thing up there called a judge. <laughs> That's looking down at her and these monsters over there at the table who are the defense counsel. And she is unable to speak and her, she drops her papers on the floor. And she looks out at the jury and she begins to struggle with her first words and she says the truth about her, about herself. 
And she becomes aware of who she is. And she understands that it's all right to be afraid. Somebody told her that it is all right to be afraid because it's human. And if you aren't afraid, you don't care. And if you don't care, how can you ask a jury to care? And that young woman can beat me. Now, every one of you are unique. And when you walk out of this room, 